Welcome back to the Abandoned Project. We are out in the California desert yet again. Today we are checking out this neighborhood where a bunch of the houses have been overtaken by sand. This area is notoriously windy. Today is no exception, it's super windy outside, but there's a bunch of different houses that we can see that are like completely covered in sand. It looks like people tried to live here at one point, but the sand and the wind just proved to be way too much for them and the houses were abandoned. So we have drove as far as we can right now. Don't want to get stuck in the sand out here because we are in the middle of nowhere, but we're going to head out on foot and hopefully find some cool stuff. A lot of the houses are just small remnants of ruins. There's like a little bit of a roof or something like that. Probably at least a dozen homes I've seen that are out here, or at least some sort of structures. But around the corner over here, there's like a big area with tons of stuff left over, a bunch of metal, and there's even like a car over here. So I'm gonna head over there and check that out right now. It's like a fridge. <laughs> That's awesome. All these. It's giving me some pretty crazy like Mad Max vibes. Look at there's all sorts of porcelain too. Glass. Dang, look at that. It's an old van. What? Holy cow. That's crazy. No way. Look, it's just buckled. Underneath the weight of the sand, the whole roof has come in. Wow. That's so cool. I wonder what kind of van it is. It's the old Econo line, maybe. No way. Uh, maybe they had a little smokestack up the top of it, too? Maybe it was like a little camper out here? That would make sense. That's super cool. Well, that might be the find of the day. That van was really cool. Wow. Looked like somebody maybe made a camper out of it or something. Back of a truck right there. But my buddy kind of cruised over that way and I think he maybe found some bigger structures. So we're gonna head over that way. There's another ripped up mangled piece of a car. Found like a, an old Datsun or something. Wow, look at that. Dang, that's pretty cool. So we found this building, it's definitely the most intact, has the least amount of sand damage, if you can believe that this is the least amount of sand damage in this neighborhood. There looks like there's a house that is still standing, 
you know, the walls are all intact and everything. This looks a little newer construction, actually. They had a three-car garage over here, which is pretty awesome. Four. Four-car garage? My bad, four-car garage. Check out that view, huh? Not too bad. Just found a whole washing machine buried all the way up. <laughs> Look at that. whole roof came in that's got to be what wow whoa that's wild Pretty big. See the whole roof just caved in. Oh yeah, this is to, so they built this giant wall to try to keep the sand out of this one. It looks like it didn't work at all, huh? The Dora? That's creepy. Wow. Holy shit. Can't hold it in there. Is that a book? That one's creepy. Creepy doll. This is a, that big wall that they built. It's probably twice as tall as it is here. You just can't see outside. They're trying to keep the sand out. And unfortunately, it didn't work. There's an old gate to the home. And this must have been the road in the driveway, which is just covered in sand now. What a crazy spot. Well, thanks so much for watching. That's gonna be it for this one. Be sure to check out the other abandoned videos I've made in California. I have a whole playlist going, which I will link above and in the description. Uh, if you could do me a favor and hit subscribe, that really helps us support the channel. And until next time, peace out.